Coronavirus COVID-19 is forecast to knock $1.1 trillion of the global economy. But analysts claim the fast-spreading deadly virus could also be a wake-up call for countries which are too heavily reliant on China. With over 80,000 confirmed cases and nearly 3,000 deaths in at least 39 countries, the coronavirus that started in China's Wuhan has turned into a global health emergency. With 43 deaths and counting, Iran boasts the highest number of fatalities after China, leading to a rapid spread of the virus across the entire GCC. The virus's most frightening impact is perhaps on the world economy, with Oxford economists warning it could knock 1.3% of global growth this year. GCC economies are particularly exposed, with leading airlines like Emirates, Etihad Airways and Fly Dubai restricting travel and flights. The virus? which in fact came just a few months after the research by Colliers International predicted the number of Chinese tourists travelling to the GCC would increase by 54% from 1.4 million in 2018 to 2.2 million in 2023. The UAE, where Chinese visitors are currently the second and fourth highest ranked source markets for Abu Dhabi and Dubai respectively, may be the hardest hit. The Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship had also issued a decision to temporarily suspend spend travel using only the national identity cards of citizens of the UAE and other Gulf states as cases of the new coronavirus soar. Two hotels on Yas Island in Abu Dhabi are acting as temporary quarantine centres as UAE health officials attempt to stop the spread of this virus among cyclists taking part in the UAE tour. Saudi Arabia, on the other hand, on Friday barred citizens from GCC from entering Mecca and Medina. Chinese tourists are also the world's highest spenders while travelling abroad, with total outbound travel and tourism expenditure reaching $277 billion in 2018, according to Collier's data. They were expected to generate an estimated $3.48 billion in travel and tourism revenue by 2023, which, by the way, is an increase of 71% when compared with figures from 2018. Now, how exactly does this serve as a wake-up call for many countries? Well, most countries around Asia are heavily reliant on the Chinese inbound market. If you look at Thailand, for example, 27% of its tourists come from China. In other markets around China, sometimes it may be up to 50%. That number now is nearly zero or very small. So overnight, people saw huge drops in bookings and travel. So the message basically right now is diversify your source markets. There's also another message coming from health officials, which is stop spreading misinformation on social media. WhatsApp cannot be your main source of information. Well, we will continue bringing to you stories from in and around this region. And of course, keep giving you updates from the coronavirus spread here in this region. Until then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, like, follow and comment on this video.